The cosmos, with its endless mysteries and uncharted territories, had always been a field of intrigue and discovery for those daring enough to explore it. Among these explorers was Zorax, a renowned researcher from the planet Vaynar, whose intellect and achievements were as vast as the universe itself. Vaynar was a world of technology and logic, where emotions were considered irrelevant and often a hindrance to the pursuit of knowledge. Zorax, with his sharp mind and unyielding curiosity, epitomized the pinnacle of Vaynarian values. When the Galactic Council announced a new initiative to study lesser-developed civilizations, Zorax immediately volunteered, driven by a mix of altruism and a deep-seated belief in the superiority of his kind. His destination was Earth, a planet of considerable interest due to its rich biodiversity and the peculiar species known as humans, who had only recently made contact with the galactic community. Zorax's arrival on Earth was met with a mixture of awe and apprehension. His sleek, silver spacecraft landed silently in a designated area, watched by a crowd of human onlookers and officials. Stepping out, Zorax towered over the humans, his slender form draped in a robe of shimmering fabric that reflected the sunlight in a kaleidoscope of colors. His face, expressionless, bore the mark of his people, a single glowing line that ran from his forehead to his chin, pulsating gently with a light that seemed to emanate from within. The welcoming committee, a group of human leaders and scientists, approached cautiously, their faces a mix of curiosity and nervous excitement. They extended their greetings, to which Zorax responded with a polite nod, his translator device converting his thoughts into the human language effortlessly. I come in peace, with the aim of understanding your species and sharing knowledge between our worlds, Zorax stated his voice devoid of inflection yet carrying a weight that commanded attention. The humans led Zorax on a tour of their facilities, eager to showcase their advancements and culture. However, Zorax's interest waned with each presentation. To him, human technology was rudimentary, and their accomplishments, while commendable for their stage of development, were hardly noteworthy by galactic standards. He made meticulous notes on his data pad, his observations clinically detached. It was during a visit to a public park, an afterthought in the day's itinerary, that Zorax encountered a facet of human life he had not anticipated, pets. Dogs of various sizes frolicked on the grass, chasing balls thrown by their human companions, while cats lounged in the sun, indifferent to the hustle and bustle around them. Zorax observed the interactions with a curiosity that had been absent until now. He noted the emotional exchanges, the apparent communication between species, and the evident bond that formed between humans and their pets. Yet his initial fascination quickly gave way to his ingrained beliefs. Primitive, he thought, dismissing the scenes before him. Emotional attachments to lesser beings, a distraction from higher pursuits. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the park, Zorax prepared to return to his temporary quarters, his mind already focused on the next day's research. The pets and their humans faded from his thoughts, relegated to a footnote in his comprehensive study of Earth. Little did Zorax know, this footnote would soon become the central chapter of his journey on Earth, challenging his perceptions and unveiling a depth of courage and intelligence that would astonish not only him, but the entire galaxy. The following days unfolded in a blur of observations, interviews, and exhaustive research. Zorax delved into the intricacies of human technology, culture, and social structures, his findings meticulously recorded and analyzed with a critical eye. The humans, for their part, were both eager and anxious to assist, keenly aware of the judgment being passed by this alien visitor whose intellect and technological prowess far surpassed their own. Amidst this whirlwind of activity, Zorax's thoughts occasionally drifted back to the park, to the simple, joyous interactions between humans and their pets. It was a phenomenon he found puzzling, an anomaly in what he perceived to be the otherwise logical fabric of human society. Nevertheless, he dismissed these reflections as irrelevant to his primary research objectives. That was until an incident that seemed insignificant at first yet would ultimately steer the course of his study in an unforeseen direction. 
On a mild afternoon, Zorax accompanied a group of scientists to a residential area for a closer look at human living conditions. As they strolled through the neighborhood, a small spherical object suddenly rolled to a stop at Zorax's feet. Looking up, he saw a young human child on the other side of a fence, gazing at him with wide, expectant eyes. Next to the child stood a small dog, its tail wagging energetically. Could you throw it back, please? The child called out, gesturing towards the ball. Zorax, momentarily unsure of the appropriate response, bent down and picked up the object. With a gentle motion, more graceful than the humans expected from such a tall and slender being, he tossed the ball back over the fence. The dog, barking excitedly, darted after it, returning the ball to the child with evident pride. The child laughed, a sound of pure joy, and shouted, Thank you! before turning back to play, the dog bouncing around at their heels. The scientists resumed their walk, but Zorax lingered for a moment, watching the interaction. For the first time since his arrival on Earth, he experienced a flicker of curiosity not about the humans, but about their pets. The dog's behavior, its ability to understand the human's request, and its evident pleasure in the simple game was intriguing. That evening, Zorax revisited his notes, adding a new section dedicated to human pets. He wrote of the incident, noting the apparent communication between the child and the dog, the emotional bond that seemed to enhance the well-being of both parties, and the pet's willingness to participate in human activities. It was a small observation, one that Zorax would have typically deemed unworthy of further investigation. Yet, something about the joyous laughter of the child, the eager barking of the dog, and the undeniable connection between them sparked a question in Zorax's mind. A question about the possible complexities hidden within these seemingly simple relationships. Little did he know, this question would lead him down a path of discovery that would challenge his deepest beliefs and reveal a facet of Earth life that the Galactic Council had never considered. The undercurrents of this new curiosity began to stir within him, a prelude to a revelation that would soon take center stage in his mission on Earth. Zorax's interest in human pets, initially a minor curiosity, had taken root deeper than he anticipated. Determined to explore this unforeseen aspect of human society, he set out to gather more observations, subtly shifting the focus of his research. His days were now punctuated with visits to various human habitats where pets were a central part of life. Homes, parks, and even specialized training facilities. His approach remained analytical, but there was an undeniable spark of fascination in his eyes that hadn't been there before. One day, Zorax found himself in a situation that would profoundly shift his perspective. He had arranged to observe a training session for search and rescue dogs, intrigued by the notion that humans relied on these animals for such critical tasks. The training ground was a vast area, simulated to mimic disaster-stricken environments, complete with rubble, hidden mannequins to represent survivors, and controlled scent markers. The trainers, a group of humans with a deep bond with their canine partners, welcomed Zorax, explaining the process and the dog's training. They spoke of trust, partnership, and a shared language developed through years of companionship and training. Zorax listened, his usual impassiveness giving way to a genuine interest as he watched the dogs in action. As he observed, a sudden unplanned test of the dog's abilities unfolded. A real emergency call came through. A child had gone missing in a nearby forest, and the search and rescue team was urgently requested. The trainers, without hesitation, prepared to deploy, and, in a moment of impulsiveness driven by curiosity, Zorax requested to accompany them. The humans, recognizing the value of having an alien observer witness their efforts, agreed. The search operation was unlike anything Zorax had ever experienced. The forest was dense and chaotic, a stark contrast to the orderly environments he was accustomed to. The dogs, undeterred by the complexity of the terrain, worked tirelessly, their senses honed in on the task of finding the missing child. Zorax, following closely, observed the seamless coordination between humans and their pets, each movement and command a testament to their mutual trust and understanding. Hours passed, with the search party moving deeper into the forest. 
Zorax, despite his advanced physical capabilities, found himself struggling to keep up, his senses overwhelmed by the natural world's unpredictability. Then, just as hope began to wane, one of the dogs, a determined German shepherd, signaled a find. The team rushed over, finding the child huddled in a small clearing, scared but unharmed. The dog, wagging its tail, nuzzled the child gently, as if understanding the fear and relief that flooded through the young human. The way back to civilization was a procession of quiet triumph. The child was reunited with their family, the dogs received praise and affection, and the humans expressed their gratitude to Zorax for his presence. But Zorax, for once, found himself at a loss for words. The experience had shaken him to his core, challenging his preconceived notions of superiority and intelligence. As he lay in his quarters that night, Zorax could not shake the image of the dog and the child from his mind. The display of loyalty, courage, and intelligence he had witnessed went far beyond what he had expected from Earth's creatures. The incident at the forest was a turning point, a moment that transformed his academic curiosity into a profound respect for the bonds between humans and their pets. The realization that these animals, these partners, played a crucial role in human society, often in ways that technology and logic could not replicate, was a humbling thought for Zorax. For the first time since arriving on Earth, he felt a flicker of doubt about the superiority of his own species, and a growing admiration for the depth of connections that existed on this vibrant, unpredictable planet. The days that followed were a testament to Zorax's evolving perspective. He found himself drawn to the myriad ways in which pets, particularly dogs and cats, integrated into human lives. His research expanded, no longer confined to the technological and cultural aspects of human society, but now deeply interested in the emotional and psychological impacts of these interspecies relationships. He visited homes, animal shelters, even veterinary clinics, observing the interactions, the care given and received, and the mutual benefits of such bonds. One encounter, in particular, stood out to Zorax, reshaping his understanding further. He visited a school for children with special needs, where animals were used as part of the therapy. There, he met a young boy named Liam, who struggled with severe anxiety and social interaction difficulties. Liam had a therapy dog, a gentle golden retriever named Bailey, who was trained to sense and respond to his emotional states. Zorax watched, fascinated, as Bailey lay beside Liam during a particularly challenging moment, offering silent support. Liam, who had been on the verge of a panic attack, calmed visibly, his breath steadying as he buried his fingers in Bailey's fur. The transformation was remarkable, a clear demonstration of the animal's ability to provide comfort and stability that human interventions alone had not achieved. This experience, among others, prompted Zorax to delve into the scientific literature on the subject, exploring studies and data on the psychological benefits of human-animal bonds. He learned about the concept of oxytocin release, the love hormone, in both humans and animals during interactions, leading to mutual feelings of well-being and attachment. He found evidence of pets helping to reduce stress, improve heart health, and even increase social connectivity among humans. Armed with this knowledge, Zorax began to theorize that the evolution of humans alongside their pets had imbued both species with unique adaptive advantages. Pets, he hypothesized, were not merely companions, but pivotal to human survival and emotional development. This symbiotic relationship had flourished into an intricate dance of emotional support, protection, and companionship that was unparalleled in the galaxy. Zorax's findings were revolutionary, not just in his understanding of Earth, but in the broader context of interspecies relationships across the universe. The realization that Earth's seemingly primitive companions held the key to understanding complex emotional intelligence and societal health was profound. He prepared a comprehensive report, detailing his observations, the scientific research, and his own hypotheses about the integral role of pets in human society. His findings challenged the long-held Vainarian belief that emotions were a weakness, presenting a compelling case for the strength found in emotional bonds and their positive effects on societal well-being.
As Zorax finalized his report, he felt a mix of anticipation and anxiety. Presenting these findings to his peers and the Galactic Council would challenge many of the foundational beliefs of his society. But deep within, he knew this revelation was too significant to remain untold. The underestimated Earth pets had taught him a valuable lesson about the complexity of life and the power of connections that transcended species. The report, once published, would not only alter the perception of Earth within the galactic community, but also challenge other advanced civilizations to reconsider their views on intelligence, emotional bonds, and the potential for interspecies relationships. For Zorax, this marked the beginning of a new chapter in his career, one that would venture into uncharted territories of the heart and mind, guided by the unexpected wisdom of Earth's most loyal companions. The release of Zorax's report sent ripples through the scientific community, both on Earth and across the galaxy. The document, titled The Unseen Strength of Emotional Bonds, an exploration of human-pet relationships, detailed not only the emotional and psychological benefits of these interspecies relationships, but also posited theories on how such bonds could influence the development of civilizations. Zorax, who had once viewed his mission on Earth as a study of a lesser-evolved species, now found himself defending the profound complexity and richness of Earth's societal structures, as seen through the lens of human-pet interactions. The initial reaction among Zorax's peers was one of skepticism. In a society where emotions were regarded as unnecessary, the idea that they could play a crucial role in the development and well-being of a civilization was controversial. However, the undeniable scientific evidence presented, coupled with Zorax's own observations and the compelling narrative of his experiences, began to soften this skepticism. Discussions sparked in academic forums, debates were scheduled, and Zorax was invited to speak at several prestigious conferences. Amidst this whirlwind of activity, Zorax decided to conduct a live demonstration to further validate his findings. He organized an event where he would showcase the abilities of Earth's pets, particularly focusing on their emotional intelligence and the strength of their bonds with humans. The event was to be broadcasted galaxy-wide, reaching audiences far beyond the academic community, including those on his home planet of Vainar. The demonstration took place in a large auditorium filled with scientists, dignitaries, and curious onlookers from various corners of the galaxy. The first part of the event featured a series of tests designed to showcase the intelligence of dogs, cats, and even birds solving complex puzzles, navigating mazes, and responding to nonverbal cues from their human partners. The audience watched in silent awe as these animals displayed not only intelligence, but a clear understanding of their human companions' intentions and emotions. The second part of the demonstration focused on the emotional bonds between humans and their pets. Zorax introduced several case studies, including a service dog that could detect its owner's seizures before they happened, a cat that provided critical emotional support to a veteran with PTSD, and a parrot that could communicate complex emotions through its interactions with its human family. The stories were poignant, each underscoring the depth and significance of these relationships. However, the highlight of the event was the unexpected appearance of a young girl and her therapy dog, the same pair Zorax had encountered during his visit to the special needs school. The girl, who had once struggled to engage with her surroundings, stood before the galaxy-wide audience her dog by her side. She spoke about her journey, her challenges, and how her bond with her dog had transformed her life. The audience was moved, many for the first time confronting the power of emotional connections they had long undervalued. As the demonstration concluded, the reaction was palpable. A standing ovation filled the auditorium, not just for the remarkable abilities of the pets, but for the new perspective Zorax had introduced. The event was a turning point not only in the acceptance of Zorax's research, but in the broader understanding of the role emotions play in the fabric of life. Zorax, once the detached observer, now found himself at the heart of a groundbreaking shift in galactic understanding. His work on Earth had revealed not just the underestimated value of human pets, but had opened a door to re-evaluating the role of emotions in intelligence and societal development.
The demonstration was more than a validation of his findings. It was a beacon illuminating the interconnectedness of all beings, bound by the universal language of emotional bonds. In the aftermath of the demonstration, the galactic community found itself at a crossroads of introspection and potential paradigm shift. Zorax, who had once viewed his mission as a mere academic pursuit, now emerged as a pioneering figure advocating for a broader understanding of emotional intelligence across species. The impact of his work began to echo beyond scientific circles, influencing policymakers, educators, and even the Galactic Council itself. The Council, intrigued by Zorax's findings and the widespread response to his demonstration, invited him to present his research in a formal session. It was an unprecedented opportunity, not only to advocate for the unique value of human-pet relationships, but also to challenge long-held beliefs about emotional intelligence and its role in advanced societies. On the day of the presentation, the Council's Grand Chamber was filled with representatives from across the galaxy. The air was charged with anticipation and, for some, a hint of skepticism. Zorak stood before them, his figure calm but authoritative, his voice steady as he began to speak. He recounted his journey, from his initial arrival on Earth with preconceived notions of superiority, to the unexpected revelation brought about by his observations of humans and their pets. He shared stories of the pets he had encountered, the lives they had touched, and the evidence of their profound impact on human well-being and societal resilience. But Zorax did not stop there. He extended his argument to the broader implications for the galaxy. He proposed that emotional intelligence, as demonstrated by these interspecies bonds, offered untapped potential for enhancing communication, empathy, and cooperation among the diverse civilizations of the galaxy. He challenged his audience to consider the possibility that advancing their societies might also require nurturing the emotional capacities that had been so long overlooked. The response in the chamber was mixed. Some representatives were visibly moved, nodding in agreement, while others exchanged skeptical glances. Yet, as the discussion unfolded, it became clear that Zorax's presentation had struck a chord. A turning point came when a delegate from a distant, war-torn planet shared a poignant testimony. Inspired by Zorax's findings, they had initiated a pilot program, integrating animal therapy with their rehabilitation efforts for war veterans and traumatized civilians. The preliminary results were astonishing, offering a beacon of hope in a landscape marred by conflict. The session ended with the Council acknowledging the need for further research and exploration into the role of emotional intelligence in societal development. They commissioned a galaxy-wide initiative, led by Zorax, to study and implement programs inspired by Earth's example of human-pet relationships. As news of the Council's decision spread, Zorax found himself at the forefront of a new movement. Seminars, workshops, and collaborative projects sprung up across the galaxy, exploring the integration of emotional intelligence into various aspects of life. From education and healthcare to diplomacy and conflict resolution, the principles derived from the human-pet bond began to inform new approaches and solutions. Zorax, once a mere observer of Earth, had become a catalyst for change, championing a vision of a galaxy where understanding and empathy bridged the divides between species. His work had not only unveiled the hidden depths of Earth's companions, but had illuminated a path toward a more connected and emotionally intelligent universe. As he stood gazing out at the stars from the balcony of the Council's chamber, Zorax realized that his journey had transcended his original mission. He had uncovered a truth that resonated across the cosmos. In the vast expanse of the galaxy, amidst the myriad forms of intelligence, the power of emotional bonds was a universal force, capable of transforming not just individual lives, but entire civilizations. As the galaxy began to embrace the concept of emotional intelligence and the value of interspecies relationships, Zorax's initiative found fertile ground in various civilizations, sparking innovation and collaboration on an unprecedented scale. However, it was on Earth, the planet that had ignited this transformative journey where the next chapter of this story would unfold, offering a profound demonstration of the initiative's potential.
a galactic symposium was scheduled to take place on Earth, gathering experts, scholars, and dignitaries from across the universe to share knowledge, experiences, and advancements inspired by the human-pet bond. The event was heralded as a milestone, not only in the field of emotional intelligence, but also as a celebration of Earth's contribution to the galactic community. As preparations for the symposium progressed, an unexpected challenge emerged. A previously unknown viral pathogen began to spread among Earth's populations, both human and animal. The virus, though not lethal, caused widespread illness and distress, posing a significant threat to the symposium and, more importantly, to the interspecies relationships that had become central to Zorax's research. Faced with this crisis, Zorax and a team of Earth's leading scientists embarked on a mission to understand and combat the virus. Drawing on the principles of empathy, cooperation, and emotional intelligence that had underpinned their work, they approached the challenge with a blend of scientific rigor and compassionate care. The breakthrough came from an unexpected source. A group of researchers, working with therapy animals that had been exposed to the virus, observed a unique response in some of the pets. These animals exhibited a natural resilience, not only recovering more quickly, but also developing an immunity that could be harnessed to protect others. This discovery led to a collaborative effort between Earth scientists and their galactic counterparts, combining advanced technology with the biological insights gained from the pets. Together, they developed a treatment that effectively countered the virus, safeguarding both human and animal populations and ensuring the symposium could proceed. The symposium itself was a testament to the resilience and unity of the galactic community. Representatives from worlds where emotional intelligence had once been undervalued shared their experiences of incorporating Earth's lessons into their societies, from therapeutic programs that bridged species divides to educational curricula that nurtured emotional skills alongside intellectual development. A highlight of the event was the unveiling of a monument dedicated to the human-pet bond a symbol of the journey that had led to this point. The monument, situated in a tranquil park on Earth, depicted a human and an assortment of pets, their forms intertwined in a circle that represented the unbreakable bond between species. It stood as a reminder of the power of empathy and connection, qualities that had proven to be not just human virtues, but universal ones. As the symposium drew to a close, Zorax reflected on the path that had brought him here. What had begun as a scientific inquiry had evolved into a movement that transcended cultural and species boundaries, highlighting the essential role of emotional intelligence in the fabric of the universe. The legacy of this journey was not just the knowledge shared or the challenges overcome, but the enduring connections formed across the galaxy. These connections, built on the foundation of understanding and empathy, promised to guide the galactic community towards a future where emotional intelligence was recognized not as a weakness, but as a strength, vital to the survival and flourishing of all civilizations. Zorax, once an observer from afar, now stood among friends, both human and alien, united by a common vision. The galaxy was changing. And at the heart of this transformation was Earth's most underestimated ambassadors, the pets who had shown that the most profound bonds were not bound by species, but by the heart. In the wake of the symposium, the concepts of emotional intelligence and the importance of interspecies relationships had taken root deeply within the galaxy's collective consciousness. The success of the collaborative efforts to combat the virus underscored a fundamental truth. Unity and empathy were not mere philosophical ideals, but practical necessities for the survival and prosperity of all beings across the cosmos. As the initiative spearheaded by Zorax continued to evolve, a new challenge emerged, one that would test the resilience and unity of the galactic community to its core. A threat of cosmic proportions, a rogue asteroid on a collision course with a populated planet, required an unprecedented level of cooperation and innovation. The planet at risk was Kryn, a world known for its rich culture and diverse ecosystems, but lacking the advanced technology needed to avert such a catastrophe. The Galactic Council, galvanized by the recent successes of interspecies collaboration, convened an emergency session. 
it was decided that a multi-species task force would be assembled to devise and implement a solution. Zorax, with his deep understanding of the strengths inherent in diverse teams, was appointed to lead the task force. Drawing on his experiences on Earth, he proposed a bold plan to combine the technological prowess of the galaxy's most advanced civilizations with the unique capabilities of various species, including those Earth pets whose abilities had been so dramatically underestimated. The plan involved a two-pronged approach. The first was the construction of a device capable of altering the asteroid's trajectory, requiring the precision engineering of the Venarians and the raw material processing abilities of the Gorgonites. The second, more innovative aspect of the plan, involved the utilization of animals' acute sensory abilities to detect and navigate the complex gravitational fields surrounding the asteroid, a task for which Earth's dogs, with their exceptional sensory capabilities, were uniquely suited. Training for the mission was intense, with Earth's dogs and their handlers working alongside alien engineers and navigators in a remarkable display of interspecies cooperation. The dogs were trained to communicate subtle shifts in the asteroid's gravitational pull, information that would be crucial for the precise maneuvering required to deploy the device successfully. When the mission was launched, the galaxy watched in bated breath. The task force, a microcosm of the galaxy's diversity, worked seamlessly together, their actions guided by the dogs' acute senses and the collective expertise of the crew. As they approached the asteroid, the stakes could not have been higher. The moment of truth came when the device was deployed. The dogs, sensing the intricate patterns of the asteroid's gravitational field, guided the crew with astonishing accuracy. The device activated, and the asteroid's course began to shift, slowly at first, then more pronouncedly, until it was clear that the collision course had been averted. Kryn was safe. The galaxy erupted in celebration, not just for the averted disaster, but for the undeniable proof of what could be achieved through unity and the acknowledgement of all beings' value, regardless of their species or perceived intelligence. The success of the mission had far-reaching implications. It served as a catalyst for a new era of galactic cooperation, where the contributions of all species, including Earth's pets, were valued and respected. Programs for interspecies collaboration and emotional intelligence training became standard, fostering a galaxy-wide culture of empathy and understanding. Zorax, reflecting on the journey that had led to this moment, felt a profound sense of gratitude and wonder. The galaxy had been transformed, not by technology alone, but by the recognition of the strength found in diversity and the bonds of companionship and love that transcended the boundaries of worlds. As he watched Earth's dogs being celebrated alongside their alien counterparts, Zorax realized that the greatest discovery of his mission was not about the capabilities of pets or the potential for interspecies cooperation. It was about the power of empathy to unite a galaxy. In the end, it was the heart, not just the mind, that would guide the future of all civilizations in the cosmos. Years had passed since the asteroid mission, and the galaxy had entered a new era of peace and cooperation. The principles of emotional intelligence and the recognition of interspecies relationships had become cornerstones of galactic society, influencing everything from governance and education to exploration and innovation. Zorax, now regarded as a visionary leader and a bridge between worlds, had founded an institute dedicated to the study and promotion of interspecies understanding. The institute, located on a neutral planet at the heart of the galaxy, was a testament to the legacy of his work and the enduring impact of Earth's pets on the universe. The campus was a marvel of architectural beauty and technological advancement, designed to accommodate the needs of countless species. At its center stood the Monument to Interspecies Friendship, a larger replica of the one on Earth, surrounded by gardens and meeting spaces where beings from different worlds gathered to share knowledge and build relationships.